Hello, 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 everyone. This is Kathy, and I'm glad you're here. This is day 12 of the 100-day challenge, and today we'll be making almost a con concertina um, little folder, little pocketed folder, a mini one, uh, or accordion style. So let's get started. Here's what you'll need if you're crafting along. You need one piece of cardstock. It can be colored if you want. Doesn't matter, it's going to be covered. You're going to want to cut this two and a half inches wide by seven and a quarter inches long. And then you're going to score it at three and a half and three and three quarters so that you end up having a little quarter inch spine like that. Okay. You only need one of those. I was going to show you how to do it, but it was so simple that I think um, you've got it. Next, You'll need glue, scissors, a score tool if you need it, book pages. I'm using, I think I'll need two. You might grab three just in case. You need a piece of cardstock for this or a scrap, and you need stuff to collage with. We're going to be covering the outside in collage. Then you also will need. Uh, book pages, I think I said that's five inches wide. Don't worry about how long they are yet. Um, cause they're as long as your folder is high. So I'll go over that in a moment. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to add some I'm going to collage mine all in photos, so it should be quite interesting. Um, I want different sizes. And such. And it's nice to have different colored ones, some with a light background and a variety of peeps. Let's start with those. Here's a few smaller ones. So let's see how that works. I'm not sure how it'll work. Um, but we'll see. So I'm going to cut these out and I'm going to keep them, you know, rectangle, most of them. And I'm going to be using art glitter glue. If you're using something as heavy as this is, you're going to need some pretty substantial glue. So I'm going to cut some out first. And goodness, you could collage with whatever you think will be nice. Doesn't matter. And what you want to make sure that you're doing is that your collage, because you're your little booklet's going to be like this. So the ones on this side are going to be facing up. The ones on the other side are going to be facing up. So don't glue them all the same way. And I have some little ones here.
I not waste this. Okay. Let's just go with it. These might be too big, but we'll see. I'm going to try to pick the smallest ones out. This one definitely is too large. Unless... I was to cut around it. That might work. Yeah, that might work. So cute with his little hand. Let me see if I can take this up a little. Put this here.
do this side. I want to do it the opposite way. Let's see. Hmm.
Okay. Okay. Let's take a moment to put these back. And then I'm going to have to score it again. This is, these are very thick photographs, so it's going to take a little playing with and a little more glue, it looks like. Okay, now I'm going to ink this. Now, what I'm going to do next, you don't have to do, but I am going to cover the inside. Um, even though I don't think it's absolutely necessary, I just think it'll make it look a little nicer. Because this is, you know, if I'd use colored cardstock or printed cardstock, I wouldn't be worrying about it. Let me put this going this way.
Grr. I'm gonna just take this, whoop, <laughs> this middle part. And this can go the other way. go over it a little bit. Okay. Now, I'm going to try something. You don't have to do this unless you happen to have a tag topper. I don't think it'll cut it, but I'm going to give it a try. I think it's too thick. It definitely is too thick. Should have tried it. I knew it. Okay, but what I'm going to do is put in a piece to use as a template. And yes, I know it'll get rid of some of our, our photo, but that's okay. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, it did cut through a little. And going to flip that to the other side and do the same thing. And if you don't have a tag topper, it doesn't matter. You can make it look like a tag. You can keep it as a rectangle. You can make it look like a tag by cutting the corners. Okay. Just like that. Now let me cut, pop a hole in here.
I'm going to wait to put the eyelid in just in case. Okay, now for the inside. I have three pieces here that are five inches in width. I'm not worrying about the height yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold them till they're two and a half inches. So I'm going to set my ruler up like this. And I'm going to fold one edge in part way, not all the way. Like that. Now I'm going to put it up here. It's hard to tell. I'm going to put this at two and a half inches. Well, actually, I want to be a little less than two and a half because I want it to be able to fit in here, and this is two and a half. So I really want it about two and a quarter inches. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to fold this. So we get the correct width, just like that. And I make sure that's about two and a quarter. Let me make sure here, and that's going to be perfect. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this together. What you want to make sure you don't do, you want a hole running down the whole thing like that. Okay, so be sure to just put glue on the outside. Well, <laughs> that didn't help put too much glue and I know I've said this before on previous videos but I treat my newsprint my book pages with clear glaze you get this at Home Depot or Walmart triple thick crystal clear glaze and it gives my papers my fragile papers some nice strength. Okay, now I'm going to do that to another sheet. Actually, I might be able to get two sheets out of this, but I'm going to do it to another sheet. The same thing. I'm going to fold one page over about right there. And if you want to know how much that is, that's a little over an inch. And then I want to fold the other piece. I'm going to put this right at the, like the two and a quarter mark. I'm going to hold it there with my fingers. I could mark it, but I'm not a marker. And then I'm going to fold this to make it so that it's around two and a quarter inches. Just like that. Then I'm going to glue it on the edge. Just like that. Okay, now I have two of these. The next thing I want to do is... I'm going to fold these. I don't want them to be higher than the edge of my little thingamabubber. So I want to fold them. And this is where you have to finagle it. So that when they're in the booklet, they don't come over the top. So...
Mine are gonna be right around there. And then I'm gonna cut it off. Just like that. Oh, I'm gonna fold it so that the seams are on the outside. That'll just make it better when you have your pockets. Not that important, but it'll just make it a little easier. Come on, that's getting stuck in there. Okay. I'm going to use this as a template. So I know where to cut it off. Just like that. And one more. You need three for each booklet that you do. And fold that in half. Okay, those are going to be your little pockets. Now what you want to do is, starting with this one, I'm going to put some glue down the center of both, both halves, just like this. If you're using a glue stick, that's perfect. Just stay in the center. and push that glue out the top. And you should have something that looks like that. You're going to take your next one, do the same thing, right down the center. What you wanna to try to make sure is that your glue is going down the center, the same center on all the sheets so that when you line them up in your booklet, um, they line up properly. So what I mean by that is try to have your center be the center. <laughs> Don't put your center way off to the side. You know, try to make it symmetrical. Try to go right down the center. Okay. Now I have three little pocket thingies. The next thing I want to do is attach them together. So I'm going to put glue down the center, same thing I did on the inside. This time when I put them together, I wanna make sure the ends and the bottom are aligned. Try not to be off. Okay, same thing. I think I got some glue on the inside of one of the pockets. Okay, so now when you're done, you have six little pockets. Next thing you're going to do is take your cover and these are going to go on the inside. And 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to round this corner because I see, because of the, the tab thingy that I used, it's a little off. So I'm just gonna see if this helps. And then I'll do it on both sides. I'll try to do it on both sides. I think it helped a little. So to put these in, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm going to put a bead of glue down the center, line it up inside, and glue it down piece of glue, line of glue down the center. Line it up. And there we have a little booklet for your journals. Cute. And you could put whatever you want in there. I don't know what I'm gonna put. Let's see what I've got. Let's see what I have over here. Oh, maybe I'd put these down. Remember I made these? This would be a cute place to hold these. And then maybe I would put something on the back so that you could write on it. I like that idea. Yeah. So that that could go in there. Find some more paper. Uh, we have one piece. This would also be cute to put uh, a gratitude journal prompt on to have little little things to write what you're grateful for. Find three things in nature that you're grateful for, for example. Okay, so that's an idea. I kind of like that idea of putting these little cute little prompts, little things. Now I want to put in the brad, I uh, know the eyelet. One there. One there. Now, let me see what I would tie it up with. I'm going to use this. Okay, now let's, let's do this.
maybe this one. Okay, I, f I think it needed something, so I'm going to add this. Moments in time. And I'm going to there. I think that's what it needed. It was just looking a bit plain. And I'm not going to put a closure on it. I'm gonna keep it just like this. Cute. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you try this. It was easy and fun. And you could do all have all sorts of ideas on what to put in the pockets. It's cute. It's great for a happy meal. Okie oak. Thank you all. Bye.